Hello everyone, I am Evan McNair and this is a short lesson on MLA formatting in Microsoft Word. I am running Mac OS X using Word 2011. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is type your paper. Single spaced in Times New Roman font at 12 points. No more, no less. Once you have your paper written, be sure that each paragraph is indented one time by using the tab key. Don't hit the space bar a bunch of times. Hit the tab key one time. It works very well. Another thing to check, you don't want your paper to look like this. No extra spaces. You just hit enter one time for each paragraph. Next thing you want to do is check your margins. Hit the layout tab. Here are the margins. You can manually adjust them or click this drop down menu to select normal, which is one inch on each side, top, bottom, left, right. Double check the font to make sure it's all correct. A good way to do this is press Command A to select all, and then select Times New Roman. This will ensure that all the text in your essay is the same font. Next, let's add the title information. Go up to the top of the page and hit enter, and then press the arrow key up to go back to that line, and hit the delete key to get rid of that tab. For the title information, start with your name. I'm going to use just a random name, Sally Frost. Hit enter one time. Enter the instructor's name. Then enter the course ID. Then enter the date in the following format. the day in digit, the month spelled out, and the four digit year. Hit enter once more and then align the text to the center. This is where you can put the title. Voila. We're getting close, making good progress. This is good. All right. Scroll down to the bottom of the essay. Hit the Enter key. Now you'll want to add a page break. So select Insert, go to Break, and hit Page Break. Once you've inserted the page break, center the text and type in Works Cited. Hit Enter once, and then align to the left again. The reason you add a page break instead of just hitting the enter key a bunch of times is so that no matter how you adjust your essay, if you add a bunch or if you take a bunch away, you will still have the work cited information on a separate page than the rest of the essay. Now, back where we were, below the work cited title, type in your source information. Once you've added the source information, select it. Don't select all, only select the source information. And drag this hanging indent tab, the lower one, not the top one. Be sure it's the lower one. Drag it a half an inch to the right. This allows you to distinguish between each source. This is one source. This is the second source. The third source. And the fourth source. Anything that is indented is a continuation of a single source. It's not separate. So this is merely a continuation of this entire source. Once you've added your works cited page, scroll back to the top. Double click up here in the header area. Align to the right. Select the insert menu item. Click page numbers. Be sure it's set to right 
For this particular format, you will want to show the number on the first page. And then double check to make sure that your number format is standard decimal format. One, two, three. Click OK. And click OK. You will now have page numbers automatically placed on each page in order. The next thing you want to do is type in your last name. Then you can close the header and you won't have to edit it anymore. It will take care of itself as you expand or contract your paper. The next thing you want to do is press Command A to select all. Then press this button to control the line spacing. Select 2.0 to make your essay double spaced. This is the last thing that you need to do. Take a moment to briefly scan over your essay to check for any formatting errors. Let me just point out there were only three pages before but now there are four pages and you can see the header has automatically filled in. This will happen as long as you properly format your page numbers in the header. If you try to manually type them in, it won't work because above this line is the header and below this line is the body. If you place your last name or page numbers below this line, they're in the body, they're not in the header. They belong in the header. And that's it for this lesson in MLA formatting using Microsoft Word 2011 on Mac OS X.